What's going on guys? We are back in front of the whiteboard and it's been a little while, but I want to get in front of the whiteboard here and tell you guys what I'm doing. I've been focused on the podcast and focused on hostile running the business and my body has become a little bit softer than I'd like. So I'm gonna run a little bit of a transformation and I want to bring you guys along for the ride and show you guys exactly how it goes from start to finish. So today is day one. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of running because I wanna do a marathon in October. Um, it's just a half marathon, 13 miles, so not, get, not getting in over my head. But anyways, so I'm gonna have to drop a little bit of weight. A lot of you guys know I'm downsizing, but I still wanna look good, okay? And part of looking good is your diet. So what we're gonna do first and foremost is create a plan. Now, a lot of you guys don't know how to create a plan. You don't know where to start. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do it, exactly how I do my own. So the first thing we're gonna do is pick out the foods we like to eat that are on the cleaner side of things. So I'm gonna jot these down. So the first thing I'm gonna do is egg whites. Okay, I always usually have some egg whites in my plan, some eggs, um, chicken breast, ground, chicken and turkey, steak, usually a flank, maybe some ground beef. I generally don't eat fish, okay? So this is pretty much what I'm gonna eat for my protein sources. Now the only other thing I'm gonna to add to this is some ISO H1. That's way, pro, way isolate from hostile. So. I generally probably do one shake a day, maybe less, depending on how I feel. But these are the proteins I'm gonna use every day. I'm gonna use them in a variety of ways. I'm gonna use them earlier in the day, later in the day, depending on how I feel. Uh, I don't, at this point, just to transform my body and not professional bodybuilding, I can make some changes throughout the day and still be happy with what I'm eating and not eat the exact same way every single day. So I'm gonna give you guys an example. So these are my proteins. Okay, down here I'm gonna go carbs, so we're gonna go oatmeal, uh, cream of rice, uh, potato, rice. That's generally gonna be a white rice. Um, and then we're gonna probably do some pasta. It'll probably be a rice pasta. Okay, those are generally my carbs, nothing crazy. I'm not going out of my way to do quinoa or any other shit. This is what I like to eat, rice, pasta, and it's usually rice pasta because I feel like it digests faster. <clears throat> um, potato, I might throw in a sweet potato, but sweet potatoes don't agree with me because of the sugar alcohol that's in them naturally. So it kind of gives me like a bloated stomach. So if you guys don't do sweet potato well, that could be part of the reason why. So I generally just do white potato or red potato uh, cream of rice and oatmeal are simple. I do them every morning, or if I'm, I'm short of something, if I don't have any rice cooked, I don't have any pasta cooked, and I'm in a hurry, I can always throw a bowl of cream of rice in the microwave for two or three minutes and that's done. Okay, so these are generally the foods I eat for carbs. Um, and then we're gonna do fats. Uh, olive oil, peanut butter are generally the fats I'm gonna use. Just easier, quick addition to rice or quick addition to my cream of oatmeal my cream of rice or my oatmeal. Uh, there are other fats you can use. You can use like whole nuts, you can use avocados, you can use a bunch of things. These are just generally easier for me to just dump in my food as added fats. The only other fats I'm gonna consider is if I'm eating something a little bit heavier in fat, like ground beef or uh, even like a, a different cut of steak or if I decide to do you know the fat from your eggs, those are naturally added fats from foods, but any added fat is probably gonna be olive oil, peanut butter, okay? So we'll call this our fats. Okay, so those are the foods I'm generally gonna eat from. <clears throat> That's generally it. And then you're gonna, I'm gonna add vegetables on top of that. Now vegetables, I generally count as, I don't wanna say free foods, but I just, I mix them up however I feel like I need, however I feel like I, I want to eat them that day. So it could be asparagus, could be green beans, Uh, broccoli, cauliflower, um, it, could be, it could be a host of different things. Now, the only 
vegetables I try and avoid eating too much of is like corn, peas, carrots, just because they're a little bit higher in sugar. I'm not saying they're bad, you can have them. I just don't eat them in mass amounts because it, it can add quite a bit of calories and they don't, all of a sudden, they're not free foods anymore, right? So I generally stick to these kind of vegetables because they're easy. I think my marker's running out also, but we're gonna keep going. So now I got my food set up that I want. Now I'm just gonna create the meal plan, right? So what do I wanna eat? Meal one, for breakfast, I'm usually just gonna have eggs and oats or eggs and cream of rice. So I'm gonna say uh, egg whites, eggs, and uh, we'll say oatmeal or cream of rice, whatever I feel like, okay? Meal two, I'm generally gonna have, meal two is usually my pre-workout meal, okay? My pre-workout meal I want to digest quickly, but not so quickly that I end up crashing during my workout. So chicken and rice for me personally tends to digest relatively fast. If I add a little bit of olive oil, it gets me through the workout and I'm totally fine. So here we're gonna do chicken, breast, um, rice, and olive oil, okay? Meal three, generally a post-workout meal. I want something a little bit heartier, for lack of a better word. I might do ground beef and pasta, right? So I might do some ground beef and rice pasta with a little bit of, I'll probably, instead of doing pasta sauce, if I'm really trying to diet, I'll do some Frank's Red Hot, and it's usually good enough for me, it tastes good, because what's the difference between eating rice and ground beef, or just because you have pasta doesn't mean you have to have pasta sauce. So I generally just do some Frank's with that meal. And then meal four, I'm probably gonna repeat meal two, so Repeat, do some chicken and rice again. And then meal five is probably gonna be my last meal of the day. I might do an ISO shake, ISO H1 with some peanut butter, okay? So this is it, this is what you're looking at. Five meals, I don't have six, I'm trying to downsize, I'm not trying to build muscle, I'm trying to maintain the muscle mass I have. Five meals is good enough, I can eat every two and a half hours, maybe three hours during the day and get all my meals in. I may even do four meals if I'm extremely busy, but I'm gonna try and get in five. So we'll say five. Now, you have the, kind, you have the meals that you wanna eat and the way you like to eat them. Now you gotta put in the amounts. So I'm gonna say eight egg whites, two whole eggs, um, half a cup of oats dry. I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna show you where I got these numbers in a minute. So I'm gonna say four ounces of chicken breast, uh, one cup of rice, one tablespoon of olive oil, and that's a repeat here for meal four. The ground beef, four ounces of ground beef. Uh, I'm gonna do 85 grams of rice pasta, and then for ISO H1, I'm gonna do one scoop and one tablespoon. Now, this is what I have set up. Is this right? I don't know yet. So what I'm gonna do is go on my phone, I'm gonna to go to like calorieking.com or one of your favorite uh, nutrition sites and you're gonna do the breakdown of the macros. Okay, now what am I looking for? So for my goals, since I'm not trying to put on muscle, I'm just trying to maintain muscle mass and reduce fat, I feel like one gram of protein per pound is good enough. So I want one gram, yeah, this is, this is definitely dying. One gram of protein per pound, okay? It's a pound of lean body mass, not pound. If you're 300 pounds and you're 20% body fat, you're not eating 300 grams of protein. If you're 300 pounds and your lean body mass is like 220, then that's your, lean, that's your protein amount. You wanna get 220 grams of protein, so it's one gram per pound of lean body mass, okay? Then from there, you wanna go two grams of carbs, Per pound and I want to start at two grams because I want to be able to reduce it but I might even go to three grams after I figure out what these numbers are so let's say two grams and then for fats I want to be at like 0.35 grams of fat per pound 
These are generally the numbers I go by when I'm trying to maintain muscle mass. If I'm trying to put on muscle, this may go to 1.5, this may go to three, and this may go up to 0.5 or 0.75. Okay, so we're all doing something a little different. Now, if you're trying to just maintain your muscle mass and strip away fat, this is, these are pretty good numbers to live by. So what we're gonna do now is, I'm gonna put in the numbers for these uh, foods, and then we're gonna see if we're gonna need to make any changes to the amounts, or if we're good with the, with the amounts we have. This is generally how I set it up. Now, if you have no idea what the amounts of food are before you start, then take this and start here. So you'd be like, okay, I need one gram. Let's say you're, uh, well, just take me for example. I'm, my lean body mass is probably 230 pounds, right? So I need 230 grams of protein a day. I need 460 grams of fat per day, or sorry, of carbs per day. And then for fats, sorry, uh, 0.35 times 230 is 80. So for fats, I'm gonna need 81 grams. So before you put in the numbers here, if you don't know the amounts at all, this is what you would do. You do this equation. How much do I weigh? Okay, that's one gram per how much I weigh lean body mass, two grams per times how much I weigh lean body mass, and 0.35 times how much I weigh for fats. Once you have this, now you can plug the numbers in here. Okay, how much protein is in eight, eight egg whites? Eight egg whites is about 25 grams of protein. So I have 25 grams of protein here. The two eggs, I have about 12 grams of protein. Now I'm only gonna count protein from, and people may disagree with this or not, it's fine. If you do something different, that's okay. For me, I'm only gonna count protein from animal sources or uh, like whey or things like that, right? I'm not gonna count them from vegetables or starches. So we have 25, 12 in our chicken breast here and four ounces of chicken, probably have 30 grams of protein and four ounces of ground beef, we may have 35 grams of protein. Uh, here we're gonna repeat the chicken again, so it's another 30 grams of protein. And down here, one scoop of ISO H1 is 25 grams of protein. So we do the math. So what I have here is 25 for the egg whites, plus 12 for the eggs, plus 30 for the chicken, plus 35 for the beef, plus 30 for the chicken again, plus 25 for the ISO. That puts me at 157, okay? So my guess was wrong. I would be under eating if I did this. So what do I have to do? I have to go back to the board and go, okay, how do I get closer to 230? Well, it's simple. Instead of four, I'm gonna do six ounces of chicken breast, and that's gonna put me at 45 grams of protein, right? Same here for meal four. That's gonna put me at 45 grams of protein. Here, I'm gonna do six ounces of ground beef. I'm guessing, but let's say that's 55 grams of protein. So now where does that put me? I got 25 plus 12 plus 90 for the chickens, plus 55 for the beef, plus 25 for the ISO H1. That puts me at 207. Gotta be a little closer, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do this. For the ISO H1, I'm gonna do two scoops. That puts me at 50 grams. So plus another 25, that puts me at 232. So I was looking for 230. I got to 232 with this diet. So you just saw exactly how I set up my diet. I get the foods in place. I figure out the numbers I need based on my body weight. And then I start to plug them in. If I plug in the wrong numbers, I just increase until I reach this amount. And the same would work in reverse. If I add up the carbs and it's higher than 460, then I'll just reduce from those numbers until I reach 460. And that's how I start my diet. All right, guys, so we're gonna figure out the carb portion, right? So we wanted two grams per pound. We're 230 pound person. That's 460. You obviously plug in your weight times two. So we have uh, 41 grams for the oatmeal, we have uh, 45 for the rice times two because we have that twice. And we have 70 for the rice pasta and we have none in our fifth meal. So that's 
200 grams, right? So I'm way off. I'm like, I'm short. I'm like short more than half the amount I need. So I go back to my drawing board and go, okay, what do I need? Then we're gonna leave the oatmeal the same because oatmeal kind of sits in my stomach like a brick. So I don't have a massive oatmeal breakfast, but I'll move to rice. I can do two cups here. That's 90 grams times two. So we'll add another 90 grams. That puts us to 291, right? Here we'll do 170 grams of rice pasta. That'll put us at 140. So we'll add another 70 grams. 361, we're still short 100 grams, right? So what am I gonna do? I'm probably gonna add some carbs into my last meal. So my last meal, I'm probably gonna throw in um, another 60 grams of oatmeal. So we'll say 60 grams of oats is another 40 grams of carbs. So plus 40, that puts us at 401. We're still 60 short, but we're gonna throw in some CDX and some intra into our intra workout. So this is my pre-workout meal, pre-meal, post-meal, right? What I'm gonna do is in my pre-workout shake, I'm gonna put one scoop hostility and one scoop CDX. So for those of you who don't know, CDX is our carb powder. It's a cluster dextrin. It's a very, very pure form of carbs. It digests really, really quickly. And I put it in my pre-workout because it helps. When I get to the gym, I'm already kind of like primed for that pump, right? I got extra carbs in my blood, simple sugars. So this is one scoop is 25 grams, right? So 25 grams plus 25 puts me at 426. I'm also gonna do in my intra workout an intra R3 scoop, which has 20 grams of carbs. And I'm also gonna do another scoop of CDX, which has another 25 grams. All right, so I added the intra R3 and the CDX into my intra workout, and that puts me at 471, okay? So I'm looking for 460. I'm happy with 471. I'm just gonna keep this here. Because I know as I'm dieting over the course of the next weeks, and we'll go through this on the whiteboard as we go, I'm gonna to start to strip away some of those carbs. So I'm okay being a little bit over. So we're at 471 for carbs. So we had 230 exactly for protein, 471 for carbs, and now we're gonna do the fats. In our fats, we're gonna take the fats from the eggs. So it's 10 grams, uh, 10 grams there, plus we're gonna take the fats from the peanut butter is another eight grams. Down here we have the fats from the olive oil is another 14. The fats from the ground beef is 12. The fats from the olive oil down here again is 14. And then the fats from the peanut butter down here is eight. So that puts us at 66 grams, okay? Now, we also have a little bit of fat coming from the chicken breast. It's probably gonna be like four grams in each, so we're gonna add another eight. That's 74. So we're, our number is 81, so we're short like seven grams. So what I might do is down here, I might put two tablespoons of peanut butter. So that brings us to 16, which brings us to 82 grams, okay? So these are our totals, 82 grams of fat. Here, I'll just put a protein, carbs, and fats, okay? These are our totals, this is our diet. So you just saw how I set it up from beginning to end, very, very simple. Now, every day I just have to execute, okay? Now, you're gonna, you can make small changes through your diet. So if you feel like, I don't feel like having ground beef today, I wanna have ground turkey or ground chicken, you could probably make that substitution. Yes, the number is gonna be a little different, but not different enough to throw off your diet. Um, if you have chicken breast here and you're like, you know what, maybe I think I wanna have some tuna. I'm gonna have a tan can of tuna instead. You just make sure the macros add up and you can make that switch because those foods are pretty similar in, in macro count. Um, down here, let's say you don't feel like having the ISO shake. You wanna have a uh, food source instead. You can just do egg whites. If you do uh, 16 egg whites, it's 50 grams of protein. It's a perfect switch, right? Or even same thing for breakfast. Let's say I don't feel like eating eggs in the morning. You can do uh, an ISO shake instead of the eight egg whites, 
and you can do you can do a little bit more protein then you can add a little bit more peanut butter to make up for the eggs so there are ways to modify the diet but this is generally what i'm going to eat every day now just to go through the calories calories and one gram of protein are four calories right so we're going to do 230 times four so that's 920 okay so we got 920 calories coming from just protein sources for carbs, uh, one gram of carbs is also four calories. So we're gonna go 471 times four is 1884. So we have 1884 calories coming from carbs and then one gram of fat is nine calories. So we're gonna do the 82 times nine equals 738. We have 738 calories coming from fat. We're gonna add those all together. 738 plus 18. 84 plus 920 equals 3,500 calories a day. So our starting point, 3,542 to be exact. So our starting point is gonna be 3,500 calories or just over that. This is where we're gonna start. Now, 3,500 calories, you might say to me, that's a lot of calories to start on. Don't forget, I weigh 230 pounds approximately of lean body mass, right? I'm 256 pounds now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna eat this and because I haven't been eating a lot of food every day, I'm probably gonna gain a little bit of water weight first. I'm gonna gain a little bit of glycogen in the muscle. My weight might actually go up, right? But I'm gonna leave that for a week or two so my body starts to normalize and then I will start to strip away at this. The first thing I'll strip away at is carbs. I'm gonna to start to reduce this. This will become 430, it'll become 400, it'll become 370, it'll become 340. And all the while I'm dropping that, I may be increasing my cardio to coincide. So I'm burning more calories. I'm also reducing more calories of food. So all of this together will help strip away fat and maintain muscle mass, which is the theory. Okay, guys, so now you know exactly how to set up a diet. This is just the diet portion. In the next video, we're going to go over cardio, how we're going to set up cardio throughout this transformation. And we'll also set up supplementation and all those things that you may need uh, during your prep. Today we just went over a couple things with the pre-workout, the intro workout, the CDX, and the protein powder, but there are going to be other fat burning things that you might be able to add uh, throughout your prep to help you lose more weight and help aid in the process, okay? So this is today. I hope that helped. hope you guys got a good idea of how to set up your own plans and uh, let me know. Give me some feedback in the comments section. Let me know if there's something else you guys need help with in this regard or if there's something else you want to see in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.